Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training, and today I want to share the story of a little mare that I've been working with over the past few months and that I have had a lot of fun with, I've learned a lot from, but she has been quite the challenge. So her name is Zelly, and she is two years old. She came in here for training last fall, and she has taught me so much about um, being patient and also about accepting the uh, accepting the horse for who they are and for who they are that specific day and she's also taught me how to uh, dodge some pretty good kicks too so <laughs> so Zelly's story is that as a foal she had some medical conditions so a lot of her early handling was treatment for those medical problems so it wasn't a very good experience for her as a result, she learned a lot of kind of avoidance behaviors. She hated having pressure on her halter. She didn't like uh, to be touched around her face. And she really tried to avoid having anyone on her left side. Her leading skills weren't real good. Uh, her, her owner has a really good understanding of her and has been really kind to her. Even when there were times where other people tried to manhandle her or to hang on to her or to train her through the procedures that she had to do, like getting oral medications or getting, um, getting injections. Her owner, Kathy, would just wait and would eventually be able to do it, but sometimes she would wait up into an hour just calmly and patiently for this horse until she'd be able to give her the medication or do what she needed to do. To help her through the problems that Zilly was having. So when Zilly came here, in order to get her here, they smartly sedated her to get her on the trailer and for the ride here. We put her in the stall and when I first went in the stall to try to haul her, to move her out to her paddock, she uh, came out with both hind feet at the stall door. So I changed the game plan a little bit and made kind of a shoot out to her paddock and let her just wander out. And that's kind of how our journey together started and like I said I've really enjoyed working with her a few videos ago we talked about the idea of different types of intelligence and I think uh, Zelly's intelligence is one of sensitivity so she's uh, she's very quick and quick at learning but I think part of that is she's so sensitive to the world around her and whether that's innate for her or maybe some of it is uh, kind of learned because of early experiences or maybe a combination of both. But she has been a lot of fun, and what I wanna do is share a few clips of the different things that I've worked on with Sally, and hopefully there's some things that you can observe and you can uh, take away as we watch these together. With Sally, I worked on a number of different kind of tracks. So what you're seeing here isn't all chronological, but it's more the different kind of segments of training that I did with her. So you can see a few of her antics in uh, these first few clips. This was just as she was learning to lead and uh, not have as many temper tantrums. And then here I'm working on having her get used to me on this left side. I did a lot with her in the beginning, just loose in the paddock. We spent about the first month just in the paddock until I felt safe enough leading her that I would take her out and start moving her to the arenas to work in there. So this is as time progresses. You can see that her leading has gotten a lot better where she's softer and she's the my cues have become more more faded from the ground meaning that she's just following my body more. She's more attentive and not uh, jumping in the air like in those first clips that you saw. With everything that I worked on with her, I could really see how as one thing would progress and as she would improve on, um, say, her leading, it would help with everything else, even the different problem-solving pieces that we were working on. So this was the start of working through the aversion to touching her head and also to oral medications. So here you can see I don't even have a syringe 
but I was just going to uh, touch her nose and she had that big head toss. So I got her targeting my fist and I got her targeting the syringe and then I got her actually targeting my hand that I could put the syringe in her mouth. Now we just worked from there, just a few minutes each day. After everything else, I would work with the syringe and eventually we get up to uh, being able to actually give her her dewormer without too much hassle. She still doesn't like the taste, but she took it pretty nice. So Zelly also hadn't had her feet handled. She hadn't been trimmed before, so that was something that was new to her. Fortunately, she didn't have a lot of bad experiences with having her hoops handled. It was just new. So I actually started with it loose, just teaching her to pick up the hoof and then working on getting her to hold the hoof longer. And then here you can see I've got the rasp. She wasn't too fond of the uh, sensation and the sound of the rasping at first. But again, after just a lot of uh, short, consistent sessions, she started to get a lot better and accept the rasping too. Trailering was another thing that we wanted to work on so that when she goes home, she can she can get on the trailer calmly without the sedation and hopefully have a, uh, a nice confident ride home. So with her, I worked on teaching her the trailering first, just allowing her to habituate to the trailer by having it sit in the field. And then we used targeting to have her step on, step up on it. So I was in no rush to get her on, but it actually only took two sessions until she was just walking right on without any kind of pressure, just following the target. She's a very uh, smart and kind of opinion opinionated horse. So I found that if I could make something seem like it was kind of her idea and let her go at her own pace, we would actually make progress faster in the end. So we worked on the trailer in a number of different ways. And we've got all the uh, all the full length videos of everything that you're seeing here are in training journals, but I wanted to put this little clip, these little clips together because Deli was just such an interesting and fun horse to work with that I thought you would enjoy kind of seeing the, uh, the different things that we worked on and, and just the idea of having a few kind of um, paths to work on, for example, here, what we were doing on the, the trailer loading, we were also working on the lunging. So in these clips, you're seeing the first step to uh, teaching her the lunging. I was careful with her to really make sure she understood what I was asking in each portion of it. So here I'm teaching her to move out with her shoulders so that I had that cue that if she would crowd me, I could ask her to move out. We started it along the wall, but now we're able to do it on a little circle. And then eventually we just make the circle bigger. And then finally we're actually working up to uh, cantering and I started the cantering with her loose and just free lunging. But she understood the cues for my body from the leading work. She understood how to move out from the early lunging work that we did. And uh, slowly, it took a few months, but slowly she got the balance that she needed to be able to uh, actually hold a circle. And this was a clip from her very first time wearing tack. You can see that she's pretty relaxed as we're putting it on in the stall. And honestly, I found that when the prep work is done, putting tack on and even like the first, uh, first few times of backing the horse, and riding are usually pretty easy. And then this is Zelly's very first time with a rider. We both got to the point where we finally trusted each other enough that uh, I trusted her to climb on her back and she was happy to let me sit there. So as I said, I've learned a lot from Zelly besides learning how to uh, get away from the occasional kick or how to uh, ninja, way, ninja my way around holding on to her when she was trying to careen across the pasture or the arena. Um, I've learned a lot about that fine line between in a training session looking to challenge the horse enough 
and and having them know that you know yes you do have to try you do have to do this but also keeping it fun so kind of that line between keeping the sessions fun but also the idea of you are going to have to try and you can't just decide to uh, take off when you think that the training session is done so as i mentioned as we were going through the uh, the clips with Zelly. We have all of her full length videos in the training journals program. If you haven't heard of training journals before, it's basically just where I film horses like Zelly and uh, a lot of different horses. We've got about 10, 15 horses in there right now that come in here for training at the farm for various issues. Some of them are more performance related. They're learning to jump or they've got a uh, under saddle behavior problem like bucking or rearing and some of them are just coming in for more experience on the trails with the little helmet cam stuff. If you're interested in taking a look at training journals and watching more from Zelly and the other horses in there, we'll post a link for you down below. So thank you so much for watching this. I enjoy having you as a part of the community here and I'll see you back here next week.